Hey guys, we're here with John Craftsman and today we will be studying the solar system. Now this is some pretty basic stuff. So first of all, here we have the great sun. So the sun is pretty much what keeps our solar system together. It has a great gravitational pull that keeps all of all of our, the other planets going. Then, then we have Mercury. So Mercury is the first planet. Even though it is the first planet, is it is not the hottest planet. It um, that is because next we have Venus, which is the hottest planet because it has so much carbon dioxide in its atmosphere that it um, that it attracts so much of the sun's heat it gets so hot on Venus. Next, of course, we have our planet. Sorry, guys, wait a little bit. Have our planet, which is. Our beautiful smiling Earth. Now Earth is what we know as the only planet with living stuff on it. It is made out of a, about roughly 70% water. It's covered surface. It has a core, a outer core, inner core, outer core, mantle, and very thin layer of crust, the one we live on. The mantle is the largest layer and is it is it's it's like density is like almost like a pudding and the inner and outer cores are both made out of mostly nickel and iron. Okay, next we have Mars, which is known as the red planet. It is the closest planet to the sun and it's red. There are plans going on for people to inhabit Mars. So there we have Mars. Then we have Jupiter, the biggest planet in our solar system now. We have the big red spot on Jupiter. That is a big storm that has been going on for a very long time. Jupiter is striped and has a pretty grayish appearance. Now I'm using only black, I'm sorry guys. I'm not the best artist. Anyway, going back, it's what it's one of the our big gas giants. Oh my god, I'm running out of out of space. Next we have Saturn. Saturn. Now Saturn, it has um, a big ring, which is um, which are little like objects, which due to our uh, the which due to Saturn's great gravi gravitational pull, they continue flowing around it, but they never actually touch Saturn. That is because they are flung with such um, great speed that they continue moving on and on, but the gravitational uh, Saturn's gravitational pull keeps them in this beautiful, pretty, um, nice ring. Next we have Uranus. It is a pretty small, normal blue planet. There's nothing really weird about it. It's, um, it mostly contains methane, which gives it a blue look, even a blue look. And it spins on its side. And unlike other planets, Uranus, spins on its side so that way then we have neptune it is two a uh, blue planet so it contains a lot of methane that's how you spell it methane it spins extremely fast because it is not solid last but not least we have our little outcast pluto now, Pluto these days is not considered a planet anymore, it's considered a dwarf planet, but we're just going to include it right now just to tell you some facts about it. Even though it is a dwarf planet, it's like about, it looks a lot like our moon and it's gray. It, it's unlike our Earth, it, which Earth here just has one moon, it's a loner. Pluto has five moons, okay? So it is so small, not considered a planet, but it manages to have more planets than we do. Yep, they don't consider him a planet. And and it's the farthest planet from the sun, therefore being one of the coldest planets, and we will not really reach it until we will need, we will need very good technology to be able to explore this little dwarf planet, which is not considered a planet. 
Now, thank you guys for watching. And if you have any questions about like basic solar system stuff or questions about like um, facts about any of the planets, including the sun, which is a star. It is not a planet. It is a star. So if you guys have any questions, please ask in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe.